What is up everybody, it is your boy Fire, thank you once again for tuning in, so I got some time to blow tonight and I thought might as well show you my top 5 free VSTs for mixing in general. So I got this beat that I was cooking up earlier, I thought huh, those two ideas go together, so stay tuned and I'm going to show you my top 5 free VSTs, uh, you know some real underground stuff that maybe you might not have seen, and I have a beat here obviously as I said, so what I'll do is I've got all the, the instruments and everything rooted towards channel 2 which is where all of our, our VSTs are. and um, what we want out of this video is I want to listen to the tone, you know, so it's almost like we're mastering our beat. Um, but I think that's a really good way to get an idea of what a VST is about. And obviously I can solo the kick drum, for example, and we'll, uh, you know, listen to some compressors, listen to some EQs and that kind of thing. So if you want to spend some time, feel free to do that. Uh, if you'd like to support my channel, check out my um, web store. I got some cool stuff for FL Studio. But regardless, you will also find the... Um, VST links, the free VST download links in the description as well. Drop a like, subscribe, all that. Let's get it. All right. So, yeah, man. Um, I've just been cooking up and uh, really the, this solid uh, 410 EQ, which is really just an SSL style equalizer, uh, actually sounds really damn good. I, I, I was looking for something to mix this kick drum with earlier and I really like the way it sounded. So what we can do is let us uh, solo this kick for starters so I can really just run through why I like SSL style EQs and why this one actually sounds pretty damn good. So we'll solo the kick and then we'll just listen to the kick real quick. All right. So yeah, we pretty much just got our kick drum. Now, you know, the way I work with SSL is I work from, um, okay, so usually an SSL, well, I mean, the plugins are usually left to right, the ones I use, but Generally, right, this is the same as a console, we'll work from bottom to top. Now, what does that mean is we've got this bottom range right here, which is the low end, which is the bass. Then we've got the low mids, right, LMF, which is low mid frequencies. This is low frequencies. Then we've got high mid frequencies, which are all of your mid range. And then we've got our high frequencies. So I'll shuffle through each area, right, of the plugin, and then I'll show you uh, pretty much what, I, what we can do with these plugins. So with the kick drum, right, for example, you know, I want to add some more bass on there. So what I like to do, my trick, right, I'll give you all my personal tips, is I like to go around 100 hertz, 50 hertz, and then I just like to boost that kick drum a little bit. Oh, it is disabled, my bad. Ooh. You see, so for a free plugin, it does the job and it does it well, and it reminds me of SSL. You know what I mean? I use, I've got every type of SSL plugin you can buy. I've got, I don't have the Waves one, but I've got the CLA, SSL, I've got the Duende, whatever, whatever. It all sounds cool. But this sounds, you know, it sounds like it's in the ballpark. Now it's missing the compression, but it sounds good. So for kick drum, you know, we'll bypass it. And that sounds solid to me. So another trick with SSL stuff is to dip 200 hertz. For some reason, this plugin uh, or this plugin style, EQ style, does it really well. So we'll dip some 200. Cool. So to me, that that sounds like a, a kick drum, right? Now, one thing we can also do is also just uh, apply the filter. Now, if I use the filter for extreme measures, you'll hear it'll remove all of either the bass or all of the treble. Um, so let's do that. So the trick is to really just, the trick, my bad, is to just get rid of about, you know, 10 hertz, 20 hertz. So we'll just leave it there. Cool, that sounds good to me. So now we can, let's bring in all the other drums um, so that we can start adding some treble. I don't really want to boost treble on a kick drum, but for the sake of the video, let's pull in some hi-hats and some uh, snares and that kind of thing. So let's actually just add everything. All right, so for now, let's just kill off the piano and then we'll add in. So our objective, right, is let's add some snap to our hi-hat and our clap. So uh, as you can see, these guys who modeled this EQ, they did it right. You know, the classic SSL treble boost is to boost 8000 hertz. So we'll just straight off the bat just boost um, this high frequency knob right here. See how much more like punch we have? 
that's sounding awesome. So now we can mess around with this high mid frequency. So with SSL style plugins, the high mid frequency is usually going to give you that like mid range, like in your face kind of sound. So we'll scoop around these frequencies right here. This is 600 hertz on the far left. And then on the other side is 7,000 hertz. So 0 0.6, which is 600, 7 is 7,000 hertz. Um, so, you know, if you not getting it there you go you know 7000 hertz i'm sure you do but just for those who don't know but yeah so let's mess around we'll start from the lowest end we'll boost and then we'll start scoping around the frequencies and see what we can get all right so without the piano obviously that sounds pretty silly but um Sounds pretty solid to me. All right, so now we can put in the piano. My bad, I still got this stupid sample right there. It's a pretty damn solid uh, plugin to me, in my opinion. So that's cool. Now, once we've done our EQ, another option, obviously, for SSL. I'm not going to run through that, otherwise, we're going to sit you all day. This is pretty much the exact same style plugin, but I like this. It's got a vintage tone. So, solid EQ wins in this case. Um, so, yeah, next thing we're going to do is some compression, all right? So, the three compression options we have uh, we've got the Molotov, which should be first, which is just this really nasty sounding, uh, you know, free compressor all right i'll, I'll leave the, the link in the description and what we want out of this compressor is some nasty grit so we want to really muddy up the frequencies uh make things sound fat and kind of like as if they've been ran through something that looks like this so let's see what we can get so i'm gonna enable it and then i'll just spend some time messing around because i haven't really used this too much i think i used it twice um but yeah we'll check it out So it's quite a hectic plugin. You saw me mess around. I apologize. I went a bit fast. I'm not going to run through, you know, what a compressor is and attack and release and that kind of thing. It'll take too long. But um, this is a pretty nasty sounding compressor. What I think I will do, because I don't really want too much of this tone, is I'm going to mess around with the parallel. Now, parallel means I can blend back in the original signal with the now affected signal. So let's mess around with that and see where we can kind of find the best of both, both worlds. My bad. Notice here that there's a second compression mode, so let's try that out as well. So I immediately noticed that this alpha mode is a lot slower in terms of compression, you know, so uh, compared to Sigma. Sigma, you can kind of see, is kind of pokey. All right, 
I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, does it sound really analog? I don't know. Not to on beats. I actually prefer this on vocals, especially for vocals that don't sound too uh, vintage. Um, this one is okay, I guess. Uh, this is the first time using it on drums, so I might skip that for now. Um, but overall, if you want something nasty to kind of blend in, definitely. But something that I can definitely vouch for is the modern Apophis. Now, the Apophysis, I don't know how to say this. Um, I've had this plugin for a very long time. Mixed bus process. And really what this is, is it is an SSL modeled compressor, bus compressor. So you can Google SSL bus compressor if you've never heard of one. Um, but basically, really cool old school compressors. And the trick that we want... And I know for certain it's going to work because I know the sound of this is just to hit the compression like 1 to 2 dB, similar to what you saw with the Molotov. So I'm going to set that up. I like a good ratio of 4 uh, to 1. And then um, I like the attack usually on 3. And then automatic uh, recovery. So we're going to leave that at 8T. Sidechain will leave off for now. And we've actually got a wet and dry on there as well. But let's see what we can get. Oh, so immediately that just kicked in right there with the, uh, the 808. Uh, I'm just going to disable the iterate for the sake of this video. See, so that does a lot more of a calming job. Um, for some reason, the automatic recovery kind of opens up the compressor more so. But I mean, for free VST, man, I mean, look at the graphics, you know, like they're fast, they're responding, you know, the, the plugin is not falling apart. You know, a lot of free VSTs are falling apart, all right? So. Yeah, man, I'm having fun with this. This is always a good bet. What we can do now is blend it in with this limiter plugin right here, which I've actually never tested, but I've heard good things about it. So let's try it out. Um, it looks like we have a latency mode right there. I'm going to leave it as it is for the sake of this video. We've got a compressor, a limiter, a high frequency limiter, it seems, as well as a clipper, and then a... Uh, output ceiling so that's cool that's kind of a mastering great thing so let's mess around a little bit with some compression um we'll clip it a little bit definitely and then we shall use a bit of protection let's see what we can do and off the bat i must say that 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 sounds good one thing you will learn over time about plugins is certain plugins are really good at increasing level so definitely when it comes to mastering i know a lot of people ask me about you know hey what should i use for this or that um test out many different plugins and see what you like when it comes to raising the level um i mean just off the bat that sounds good you know so let's disable it Now, obviously, you know, you could say, oh, it's louder. It's, it, that doesn't mean it's better. Well, you can hear when something is louder and better, in my opinion. So that sounds good to me. So let's see what we can do with this clipping. Um, clipper mode on, maybe? Or what is going on here? Let's see. So that is awesome. I'm actually digging the sound of this, man. We can get um, more level, but we also clip the signal. So, you know, uh, maybe you can watch over here real quick. Can you see the difference right there? The, the kick has been clipped. Uh, maybe slow the video down or whatever, do what you do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool to me, man. I'm going to clip it like maybe 1 to 2 dB. That sounds damn good to me, man. And then all we need to do right now is lift the level of it. How do we lift the output level? Um, oh, there we go. Output level, then we've got a seating. So I'm going to set it to like minus one for the sake of this video because we're going on YouTube. And then I'm going to increase the level until it's loud. 
And um, now we can pull up our, our Yulin loudness meter, right? So uh, let's try and aim for minus 14 LUFs, LUFS, loudness units with reference to full scale. So mess around with that. And there you go, man. I had some fun right now. Um, it's late. I'm going to go to bed now. But if you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to hit that like button as well as to subscribe and check out the download links for these VSTs. Hope you had a good time chilling with me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.